So now we know the value of A, B, and C. Right? Therefore, I am going to multiply A times C. So the value for A is 1 and the value for C is negative 6. 1 times negative 6 equals Welcome back to the channel people. Welcome back to learning with the past list. Yeah man, if you have not yet subscribed to this wonderful and educational YouTube channel, feel free to like, share, subscribe and leave a comment. Yeah man, today I am going to teach you how to factor in trinomials. So, given 2x square minus 11x plus 15. What do you notice with this problem? This problem has three terms. Therefore, it is a trinomial. And we are going to factor in this trinomial problem. So, first thing I want to do. First thing I am going to do is to label each term. So, the first term Let's say this term is A and this term is B and this term is C. So we have A, B, C, right? But we have three terms and we want to have four terms to solve this problem. So what I am going to do now for rough work, I am going to What I am going to do now is to write down the value for each term. So A, since we have a 2 before the x here, A equal 2. B equal negative 11. And C equal 15. So now that we know the value of each term, we are going to multiply AC so it's the same thing as A times C so we know that 2 A is 2 so we can say 2 times and the value for 15 the value for C is 15 so we know that 2 times 15 is 30 right but we need to find the factors of 30 so we can write 1 and 30, 2 and 15, 5 and 6, right? So we multiply 1 times 30, we should get back 30. 2 times 15, we get 30. 6 times 5 is 30, right? So everything up here should equal to, when we multiply these numbers, we should get back 30, right? These are factors of 30. So, why I did that? I did this because I want to use two of the factors to replace this negative 11x. So, when I add two of the factors, I should get back 11. I should get back negative 11x, right? So, I can do the calculation right so I can use 5 and 6 because we know that 5 plus 6 is 11 therefore I can write 2x square minus 6x minus 5x plus 15 see that so now we have four terms but if you look here you can see that negative 6x and negative 5x equal negative 11x so we have the b value remain here so now i can bracket this section right so what is common between these two terms? 2x is common. 
So we have 2x outside open bracket, 2x into 2x squared, we have x. What the minus sign, 2x into 6x goes 3 times. We put back the minus sign out here. So now, what is common in this bracket? 5 is common. So we have the 5 outside the bracket, open bracket now. So 5 into so this 5 cancel this 5, so we have x remain. Negative times positive give us negative. 5 into 15 goes 3 times. But what I need to know, we, should, we must have two identical brackets in order for this to work. If, you, if the, the brackets are not identified at this moment, something is wrong. Maybe you need to use a quadratic formula to solve this problem. But since we have two identical brackets, we know that we can solve this problem using this method. Right? So what I am going to do now is to write back one of the brackets above. So x minus 3, close bracket. Then in bracket, our open bracket, we have 2x minus 5. So 2x and this minus 5 in this bracket ends. This is our answer, right? So this is how we factorize our factoring trinomial like this. You understand? Very easy. Very easy. So our answer is in bracket we have 2x minus 5 and we have x minus 3. This is our answer, right? So let us do another example. We could do another example then, no? Yeah, man, so x squared plus x minus 6, right? And as usual, I am going to label each term. So we have a, b, and c. Right? So since we just have an x square here, we know that a equal to 1, b equal to x by itself would be 1, and we have c equal negative 6. So now we know the value of a, b, and c, right? Therefore, I am going to multiply a times c. So the value for a is 1, and the value for c is negative 6. 1 times negative 6 equals negative 6. So now I am going to find, I am going to write down all the factors of 6. So 1, 2, 3, and 6. These are the factors of 6. But I need to use two of the factors to, re to replace this x here. And remember, the value, um, the term b equal 1. So we need to use two numbers when we Put them together, we should have the value of 1x here. So, looking over here, I can use 2 and 3. So, it's like 3 minus 2 equal 1. You see that? So, you have to, I have to make one of this number be minus. Therefore, I can write, therefore, I can write, Therefore, I can write x Therefore, I can write x square plus 3x minus 2x minus 6. You see that? So if you look here, you can see that I have, a, I have a 
3x minus 2x would give us x. Yeah, man, would give us x. So we have the value of x here. So now I can bracket up these two terms and over here these two terms. Right? So what is common in this bracket? X is common. So x into x square, we have x. We have the positive sign. X into 3x goes 3 times. We have the negative sign down here. What is common up here? 2 is common. So 2 should be here. So 2 into 2x goes x. Negative times negative give us positive. 2 into 6 goes 3 times. So look, we must have two identical brackets. So since we have two identical brackets, we know that we are doing something right. So now, I'm going to rewrite one of the above bracket. So x plus 3. So now I am going to put this x and minus 2 in one bracket. So x minus 2 in one bracket. And this is our answer. This is how we factorize trinomial. Yeah, man. This is how we factorize trinomial. Sometimes you might try to factorize um, trinomial using this method and you realize that you have two, two unidentical brackets so you have to use like a quadratic formula to solve that problem you understand but i am happy to know that this method could solve this problem yeah man so i am also going to do quadratic i am also going to teach you in in, in, a, in another video I am going to teach you how to do using the quadratic formula. Yeah, man. So keep watching, subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss out any of these wonderful topics. Yeah, man. These topics, these lessons can help you to get a distinction, a grade one in mathematics. I'm telling you, just watch the channel, practice the maths, get it right. Maths can be like A, B, C. Yeah, man. So this bring us to the end of another interesting and informative lesson. Yeah, man. Thank you for watching. Learning with the past See you next time. See you later. I am out.